That sounds weird because it doesn't make sense to us because, right, like we don't have three people living in our heads, right? So it's a weird concept. But, but this is what God reveals to us in his word, that he is Father, Son, Holy Spirit, right? So my question is, if the goal is to trust God, then we need to trust that he that he is that there is one God, but there are three persons of that one God, right? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay, all right. So what John tells us is that the Word, okay, which is also the Son, okay, came down to earth to become like a miracle, like a man, okay. He became a came man. down to earth to become man. So basically, okay. Father Jesus is Jesus. Basically, he just abstracted. So all the time, Jesus was Christ. I thought Jesus it was like a Christ. son, like like Papa God. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so like, yeah, yeah. I thought so, he was like right to see to Mary. Right. Okay. That's what I believe. So so yeah. But, so but he was God all the time. He's, yeah. He. In a humanized form. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you. You realize that just from you saying that, you're in the vast minority of people. Because not many people believe that he is God. No, okay? he is. It, yeah. It, so know, let me. Man way. So I want you to yes. put this in your notes so you can read yeah. this verse later. So Jesus, I always put, thought Jesus put this was in your notes. the son of... Oh my God. Put it, put it in your notes. There the you go, my the amigo. So Colossians 2 in verse number 9. Colossians 2 in verse number 9 tells us that within Jesus dwells the whole entire uh, being of God. So in other words, what the Apostle Paul is saying there, he's the writer of the book of Colossians. What he's saying there is that Jesus is the mere essence of God, right? So when we're talking about Jesus, Jesus didn't just come and became a man. He is the man God. He is both man and he is both God. I thought, nice. <laughs> I thought it was his son, and because of his right. son's sacrifice, was like, okay, son, you show me so much that you love humans that I'm gonna make them eternal if they know your history and if they know my history and if they follow their world. And oh my God, I... that's a that that's yeah. probably that's what we get from movies. <laughs> yeah. So 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 uh, another again so God exists within these three persons father son holy spirit the father is the creator of the plan to save humanity so again god wants a relationship with his creation so he created us to be a relationship with him but we severed that relationship and now god is trying to bring us back to that relationship so, so exactly yes yeah so go chris <laughs> Because I know God has magic, like super good magic, but when he came to her, why didn't he just came in his body? So that makes me stand to theorize that this is the devil world. So basically the only way he can get down was take his energy, put it in Mary's and, and yeah. then the gift is that he gave uh, Mary and Matthew. No, Joseph. 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 The eternal life just because they took care of him and then God sacrificed himself in the devil's world to take all of the sin of the world away, but only if they knew about him. Okay. Oh. You're, you're right on. You're right on, stuff. So, okay. Um, 